Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to all conference participants. I am Irda Watibaka from the Language Center of University Pertahana National Malaysia. Uh, before I begin my presentation, I would like to thank the Secretariat for the opportunity to share my research in this conference. Today, I am going to share with you my research entitled Breaking the Barrier, Online Readers Theatre as a Tool for Language Practice and Literary Reflections. My presentation today, uh, my presentation today is guided by the following uh, headings. Firstly, I would like I will elaborate briefly on the introduction for the research, followed by a brief literature review and theoretical framework or perspectives. And I also will elaborate a little bit, um, sorry, briefly on the methodology adopted for the study, followed by uh, findings and discussion. And I will close my presentation with a concluded, concluding remark as well as implication of the study. As an introduction, studies on implementation of reader's theatre in learning English and literature has indicated that can improve reading comprehension and it also a motivating, engaging and enjoyable approach, especially for reluctant language learners. This research reports on, the, uh, on an instructor's experience in delivering a literature lesson during the pandemic when teaching and learning were migrated to online medium. Learning of literature is said to be challenging. This is perhaps due to the richness and complexity of the literary text used in classrooms. Novel and short stories are the most common text adopted in a literature classroom due to its richer descriptive language, which many learners find to be helpful. Genre like a literary play is at the least preferred one due to its demand for the readers to um, visualize the scenes featured in the play with minimal descriptive language. The um, experience of learning literature during online learning is further challenged due to the lack of instructors' presence to provide immediate feedback and guidance when necessary. Therefore, to help learners to engage with the chosen literary play uh, and increase their participation during online learning, um, the uh, Reader's Theatre has been reformulated and transformed into a uh, uh, and renamed as pandemic or online readers theater or ORT approach uh, is adopted as part of the learning activities and assessment in the classroom. Um, apart from functioning as a tool to improve pronunciation, intonation and theoretical recital, readers theater is also an invaluable um, interventive strategy to engage uh, with reluctant or shy learners, which subsequently will help them to participate interactively as well as improve their overall um, literary skills. The following are the two research objectives. Um, firstly, is to examine the effectiveness of online readers' theatre to improve literary comprehension. And secondly, to investigate the students' perception on the integration of online readers' theatre as a means to support online engagement. Reader's theater is a distinctive approach and storytelling device which combines repetitive reading, clear and precise pronunciation, and also theoretical expression. It is believed that um, Reader's theater is able to stimulate learners' uh, imagination and promote the practice of language skills proficiency and motivation. This study is framed by using uh, by two learning models, namely COPE's model of experiential learning and the community of inquiry. Uh, let me elaborate on the first model. COPE's experiential learning model supports the notion of learning by doing. This four-phase framework incorporates uh, four constructs. Concrete ex firstly, concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization and active experimentation. Experiential learning or interactive learning requires students to take a much active role in the learning process in order to optimize their learning. Apart from that, the COI uh, emphasis on give a uh, place emphasis on social presence, teaching presence and connect con cognitive presence, which um, in which this model finds it essential to facilitate successful educational experiences 
in online distance learning environments. Within an online um, learning environment, students are given the autonomy to actively construct and confirm meaning. Uh, also, um, both theories argue that okay, a meaningful, meaningful learning can occur when the task design gives focus into the learners and they are learning by making mistakes and self-inquiry, which help them to form meanings as well as new knowledge by relating the new content to their previous past knowledge. This study has adopted um, a quantitative approach in which uh, the main in research instrument is a questionnaire in which items were ad ad adopt and adapt from Kabilan and Kamarudin 2010. The questionnaires were distributed via Google form to 35 respondents um, fifth, uh, in, uh, in which they are, they were 15 male and 20 female students. These respondents are the first year students from the Languages and Cross-Cultural Communication Program at University Pertahana National Malaysia, and they are required to take up the subject Language and Literature as an elective course in their second semester. Um, the data um, from the Google form was later um, tabulated and analyzed using SPSS version 23. At the time of this research, uh, classes were still conducted fully online as the movement control order in Malaysia has not yet been lifted. In the class, they, are, they were required to study a Malaysian play entitled Swordfish and the Concubine, uh, written by a Malaysian playwright, Ki Tuan Chai, which, in which this text subsequently became the main material for the staging of their online readers' theatre. The play... Um, exclusively deals with issues related to history manipulation, power abuse, differentiated gender um, representations, treason and deconstruction of the Malay Mona. The findings from the survey shows that, okay, as illustrated in table one, it this the table a table one indicates the overall mean score in the, uh, in which it indicates students' positive perception towards online readers' theatre as a tool for language practice with the mean four point zero eight one zero. Okay, these students responded positively that ORT or online readers theater indeed has helped them to improve their command of the literary play and enable them okay to visualize the scenes in the play as well as um, they are they find the characters um, more uh, how to say they they they, they manage to relate to the characters featured in the play. Uh, while in figure one, okay, this shows the results of the survey on learners' responses to using ORT as a tool for language practice and literary reflection. Yeah, um, it is found that from item number two until number six, okay, there were about 55% from the respondents agreed that the pedagogical approach of an ORT has helped them to engage and comprehend the literary text and communication with their peers with much ease, yeah. And if, we, uh, if I can draw your attention to item number one, 46% agree that ORT has helped the students to relate to the characters in the literary text. And this is instrumental in order for them to show their understanding and to give um, um, a critical interpretation to the characters featured in the play. Uh, apart from that, okay, through the reenactment of the characters, okay, in their online readers' theatres, um, this helps learners to better understand the literary text as well as establishing connections by immersing themselves into the characters. Based on the findings, this study, which was framed within the experiential learning model and COI models, showed positive response from the students towards the use of ORT to in uh, in which it helps to increase their comprehension of the literary play. These learning models have provided multiple benefits to learners, uh, namely it helped them to gain new knowledge and experience, establish presence within, as well as establish presence within conducive and positive online learning setting. Finally, um, 
the implication of the um, study shows that through the reformulation of Reader's Theatre using online platform has been well perceived by the students. It is indeed a useful tool that not only can help students to comprehend and cope with the literary text, also it is an effective pedagogical approach which can help learners to engage meaningfully with their peers and instructor despite being confined in a remote learning environment. Due to the uh, pandemic, yeah, uh, it is um, it is argued that the pandemic um, comes with a silver lining in which it became becomes the cat um, the catalyst, okay, for instructors to explore and experiment with creative alternatives in designing effective learning environment with embedded online technologies that um, that are already available um, in the internet. Apart from that, instru instructors also need to continuously examine their re-examine their own teaching ideologies and keep themselves updated on effective pedagogical methods and instru instructional design through professional development preparedness training as the future of teaching and learning um, is becoming more flexible and fluid. These are some of the references that I've used to help me and, and guide me with uh, in my study. Um, therefore, this is uh, lastly, that's the end of my sharing session. I hope uh, findings from this research may instigate future research pertaining to the uh, to um, pertaining to creative pedagogical approach via online platforms for language learning and teaching. Uh, the following are my con the followings are my contact details in case if you have any further inquiries or um, or you need further elaboration in regards to my research. Therefore, um, I welcome any um, correspondence from any one of you out there, and I'm definitely looking forward to engage future collaboration with all of you. Thank you and have a productive day.